Hi everyone, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of GPAnswers.com and Policy Pack Software. And I want to show you a little Windows 8 thing that, uh, well, if you haven't run into it soon, is going to drive you nuts, and I want to make sure you're not driven nuts. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to log on as a user who's never logged on before. His name is West Sales User 8. So again, he's never ever logged on before to this Windows 8 machine. And check this out. There's this animation that describes like how to get started in Windows 8 and how to use it and sort of how to, uh, you know, basically, remember that old uh, XP thing, the uh, do you want to take a tour? Remember that whole thing? Well, it's very similar to that, but it's the Windows 8 version of do you want to take a tour? And it's sort of force-fed upon users the very first time they log on. So it's up to you. You can leave it. It's certainly very nice uh, to have there, but you might also get into a situation where you want to just make this just all go away, especially in your test lab if you're doing a lot of user testing and you don't want to see it anymore. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and log off here. And of course, we're going to use group policy to make the magic happen. So my server happens to be a uh, server 2012 domain controller. And I'm going to do this for the entire domain. So I already have the group policy object here. I've called it no anim for no animation. And I'll link it here. And let me show you exactly where it is so you can see uh, how it works. So I'll dive down under uh, computer side, policies, admin templates. And then I'll go to system and then log on. So under system log on, what we're looking for is show first sign in animation. And what we're trying to do here is, well, we're, let's read the explain text here. It says if you enable it, users will see it. If you disable it, users will not see the animation. And if you don't configure it, users will see the animation when completing the UBI. UBI stands for out of box experience. So, <clears throat> so therefore, basically, uh, what we want to do now is select disabled. I've already done that here. Let's go back over to my machine. Oh, you know what I should have done while I was logged on as that guy, West Sales User 8. I'll go ahead and do that now. While I was logged on as this guy, I should have run GP update or been able to uh, run it now. Uh, the idea is that this won't take effect until the machine actually gets the signal. So I'll run GP update here. And now the computer account, because it's part of the domain and I'm affecting all the domain computers, um, all of them will get it. Now again, I'm going crazy and I'm affecting all domain computers. You may not want to do this. You may want to do it uh, for a percentage of them or desktops or laptops or test lab, OU, whatever is right for you. Just for this demonstration, I'm doing uh, everything. So let me go ahead and log off here. Now we'll go ahead and log on as a guy that's never logged on before. So this one will be West Sales User 7 this time. And we'll go ahead, and there we go. So no more, uh, no more animation. We just see preparing Windows, and it's doing its thing. All right, and that's it. That's the one of the millions of little things you're going to learn when you come to my group policy intensive training and workshop class. I got another one right around the bend. Uh, we teach you everything you'll need to know about how to use group policy with regards to Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Server 2008. R2 and 2012. Basically, if it's Windows, man, we got you covered. So if you're looking for an intensive experience, uh, one that I promise will not let you down, uh, I'd love to see you there. I think you'd really get a lot out of it. All right, very good. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you in class or in person real soon. Take care.